Hello, it's Rosemary here. How you doing? Okay, this is it. Your calling is yours. You get to define it. You get to clarify it. You get to decide when you're ready to step into it, okay? And yet, you are waiting with bated breath for the approval of someone who is just like you. You want that external confirmation from some person you see as an authority on your life. You want that confirmation from them because you don't feel clear. And you think you should feel clear. You think every step of the path should be outlined, but that's not the way it works. You do know that, but you still think you need permission. And another reason you want the affirmation from someone else is to give you an alibi, as someone else to blame or turn to when things don't go according to plan, as if anyone can be that person for you. You are the only one that gets the privilege of that role. Sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is, man. I'm sorry, but not sorry. You, okay? And honey, you have to believe that you have what it takes, and you have to start waiting for the confirmation, whether it's from your pastor, your parents, your partner, whoever. They can eat. And you know, you are the authority on you. You, okay, you are the authority on you. They can give you advice, maybe. They can even agree to walk the path with you some of the time, but really, it's on you. It is on you, and that does scare you. I get it. And even me telling you this, it probably scares you some more. And so you carry on waiting and waiting and waiting for the word from the heavens, and you hear it every single day, but you doubt it every single day as well. Question Do you want to live a life of fulfillment or not? Hmm? Because I did this thing that you do for the longest time, okay? And I even thought it was the best way to do it. If you've been brought up in church like I was, you get sold on the idea that you have to get permission from your spiritual leader. You go to work for them, you usually for free, you, you volunteer all the time, you expect that at some point they'll release you into your own mission, ministry and calling. And you know what? Sometimes that's good because there's some things you need to learn. Absolutely, I get it, okay? But... A lot of the time, what I see happen is that people feel hard done by. They feel mistreated. They feel ignored. And it ends up with them feeling offended and they resent everything because they relinquished their responsibility to someone else, okay? They hoped that, that this someone else would give them the go-ahead to live out their dreams when it was never that someone else's choice to make. It was yours, <laughs> Okay, those people are busy living out their own dreams and that's right for them. Okay, you can't resent them for that. You can't expect them to tell you when you are ready. Only you know the answer to that. Yes, it's okay to be an intern for a season. I get it. But you have to know when that season is over so that you don't just keep extending it and extending it because you're afraid of stepping out on your own. And then you tell yourself that it's because you're respecting this other person and it's not. It's nonsense. Okay. If you, of course, if you're not of Christian inclination, it might happen in your own spiritual thing, but you may not even understand what I mean at all. But you are right now making the same kind of choice, but your, your spiritual leader is actually re replaced by like your parents or your partner or your boss or your friends or your whoever. All you're waiting for them to tell you when it's your time to move. You keep looking to them for confirmation that that's what you think you're supposed to be doing is what you're supposed to be doing. You wait for them to tell you it's okay to move forward and I get it yeah there can be some wisdom in getting the thoughts of other people more experienced than you are but if you're only asking people who haven't even walked the path you want to walk then of course you're going to get weird responses norm like responses they, they're afraid for you okay and so they communicate that to you and you think it means something when it really doesn't mean anything at all it just means that they're as fearful as you are about you stepping into your own calling so question again do you want to live a life of fulfillment or not? Because no one else can get you into action. If you feel like it, you could keep going and asking this person and that person for their opinion and whether it's the right thing for you to do or not. And you can just keep asking people until you get the answer you want, which usually is the answer based out of your fear. You're looking for someone to say, no, 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 just chill out. This is what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or yeah, maybe you're looking for the good answer. I don't know. Whatever it is that you're looking for, you'll find it, but you'll not, you'll, you won't trust it. Okay. Because you'll feel like you cajoled out the answer anyway. You cajoled out the answer you wanted to hear because you were too fearful to make your own choice. There is no permission required. There is no need to wait on anyone. There's no need to wait anymore for a word from the Lord, okay? You just need to make a decision and get to work making it a reality. That initial decision to move can only be made by you. And even if everyone around you doubts you, you will still be the only one that has to give yourself permission to get moving, keep moving, okay? After all, the day Jesus, we're going to say Jesus, <laughs> announced that he was the Messiah, <laughs> it didn't go down all that well. <laughs> so, you know what? 
don't expect that sometimes it won't go down that well. So what? Is your calling worth it or not? That is a simple question. So here's an exercise for you. One that can break through all of your resistance and help you see why you're holding yourself back from tapping into your calling. One, pick an affirmation. An aff affirmation that says who you choose to be today. You do have some written out, haven't you? And if you've been following me for any length of time, you should have some things written out. Your goals, your outcomes, your uh, right affirmations. If you don't have any, write some today. Write out some affirmations. I am leader. I am called to impact the, the lives of 334,000 people if you're me. <laughs> Okay, write it out. Write it out numerous times on a piece of paper. I am wealthy to the tune of you fill in the glass. What is it that you want? Okay, write it out. Write it out. Write it out. Choose one of those affirmations. Write them out at least 20 times. And the second thing I want you to do is notice where there's any resistance, any negative thoughts, any doubts about the affirmation. Okay, I want you to, when you feel that resistance inside of you, as you're writing it out, there's something inside of you saying, no, 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 no. You turn the sheet of paper around that you're writing your affirmations on, you write out why that resistance, what, what does it mean? What is it saying to you? What is it saying to you? Write it out. Okay. Then you carry on writing out your affirmations on the other side of the paper. Okay. Until you've written them out as long as possible. And you've also written out all the resistance that seems to be coming up for you. Okay. So you're writing out your affirmations and then you're also writing out your resistance on the opposite side of the sheet of paper. Yeah. Now I want you to look at that resistance list and I want you to start to turn them into new affirmations. Sometimes it's enough for you to see that this is what is causing you resistance in order for you to move forward from it. Sometimes there is deeper work that needs to be done, but we don't want to be stuck in deeper work for the rest of our lives. We want to move forward. So we want to see what is holding us back. And it's usually you, something inside of you. And a lot of people go through life thinking, oh no, I don't need to do the internal work. And so then they get stuck. Okay. So you look at those resistance, you turn them into affirmations for yourself. You, If it's that, okay, maybe you're, you think, oh no, my parents are not going to like what I'm doing. After all, they paid all this money out for me to go to university. And now I'm talking about leaving and all of that kind of stuff. Maybe that's your thing. Now you turn that into something along the lines of my parents are very proud and happy for my success. And that becomes a new affirmation for you. You turn stuff around. So whatever it comes up, oh, I'm not good enough. I am exactly positioned and I'm exactly, what's the word, equipped with everything I need to create the life, the business that I want. You write that out, okay? You turn it all around, okay? You keep turning stuff around until you feel clear inside for today, okay? And then you write out your affirmations again. Yeah, I know a lot of writing, but we're trying to, because you have had this negative thing going on inside of you for too long, you need to work it out of your system. And you need to do this on a daily basis until it is worked out of your system. You cannot keep being passive about your calling. You have to give yourself permission to move forward and you do it. This is one way of doing it. It's not the only way. It is one way of doing it. Okay. So do those things. Yeah. Listen again to this video if you're not sure what I said. Do it again, okay? I know it might seem crazy to think that you, you, this will allow you to give yourself permission to flourish, but it will. It will help you, okay? You'll start to see why you're holding yourself back and you can start to choose yourself again. Your calling is a choice. The fact that you dream of it, the fact that you have visions of it, it's all the permission that you need to just get on and do the work to make it happen. However, you have to make the choice. You have to decide, okay? It will not be made for you. Even God will not force you. You have to choose. So finally, again, do you want to live a fulfilled life or not? <laughs> it is time to fight for, to create the life, the business you want. And honey, I put together a free resource for you. It's the 70 simple secrets of a more fulfilled and successful life. It's an ebook and video course, which is valued at $147. If you want it for free as part of my community, pop over to rosemaryonunite.com forward slash impact. Go avail yourself of it. Listen in, listen in, apply, move your life forward. Okay. My calling is to empower lots of people to live out their best life and to make money doing the thing that they're best suited to do. And that's why I've made this available. So don't, don't despise it because it's free. Huh? Watch the videos, read the ebook, implement and see change. Today is the day things start to turn around for you. You ready? Okay then. It's been a pleasure. I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye.